were the hominins? When people discover that I'm an old earth creationist and I take the view that Adam and Eve were real historical individuals that were the progenitors of all humanity and that they were made uniquely in God's image through God's direct personal intervention, they often will ask, well, then who were the hominins? But instead of seeing the hominins as evolutionary intermediates that lead up to the origin of modern humans, I see them as creatures that God created that lived for a period of time and then went extinct, that these creatures had intelligence and emotional capabilities, that these creatures had a technology and a culture of sorts, but that these creatures lacked something very important that only human beings have. They lacked the image of God. And if that's the case, then we would predict that these hominins would be biologically similar to humans, but also biologically distinct. But most importantly, we'd expect that these creatures would be behaviorally distinct from humans, that they would be cognitively inferior because they lacked the image of God. And it turns out that these predictions are borne out by the evidence from the fossil and the archaeological record. For example, let's look at Neanderthals. Neanderthals, again, do look much like us, so there are these biological similarities they possess, but they also have key differences as well in their anatomy, in their physiology, even in their genetics. And more importantly, Neanderthals were cognitively inferior to modern humans. Now, I know that there are people that will claim from the scientific literature that Neanderthals were just like us, that they, they had language, that they made art and music, that they mastered fire and buried their dead ritualistically. I know that these claims are in the scientific literature, but there are also studies that oppose these claims. In fact, there's a raging debate taking place among anthropologists as to the capabilities of Neanderthals. Were they like us? Were they distinct from us? And again, by that I mean, were they cognitively inferior to us? What seals the deal for me is the trajectory that Neanderthal technology took compared to that of modern humans. Neanderthals were on Earth longer than we have been on Earth as modern humans, yet their technology remained static. It didn't really change. Modern humans appear on the scene, let's say about 150,000 years ago, and with, in short order, our primitive technology becomes so sophisticated that we're now able to put people on the moon. In fact, we're able to sp send spacecrafts outside of our solar system to explore our solar system and beyond. There must be something that is, explains that difference, and I would argue that that something is the image of God. If you want to know more about who the hominins were and about our creation model at Reasons to Believe, I invite you to check out a book that I co-authored with Hugh Ross called Who Was Adam?